Okay, hi guys, uh, this is part three. Following up from when I was burning Need for Speed with the patch to play on light touch plus firmware. So uh, at the moment we got three minutes eight left till the burn's done. I thought I'd quickly go to you through a few things. Uh, right, the programs I use, uh, I use Jungle Flash, uh, uh, Light Touch plus firmware, obviously. Uh, and to to do the games, I use ABGX three sixty to check them. And uh, PPFOmatic to uh, to apply the patch. Now, in my last video, I didn't mean to scare anyone because I said, "Oh, all games you have to patch all new games." Well. Uh, that's not true, obviously. Only, like, the new ones with the anti-piracy 25 media on them, which is, at the moment, is only Fable 3, Need for Speed, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and a few of the Kinect games. So, yeah, older games are fine, you can play them, but from now on, every new game from now on, it seems like they'll most likely have that new protection on them and uh, also obviously a, a huge thanks to the people who made the firmware Team Jungle Siva or C4 Eva whatever his name is sorry I don't say your name right but thanks and uh, yeah and in case you might wonder what I use to hook the drive up to the PC I use a CK3 connectivity pro kit with the probe, but obviously you only need the probe if you uh, have one of the older light on drives. And uh, obviously the light touch plus firmware is for BenQ drives as well. And they're very simple to uh, get the firmware and flash from them. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, oh yeah, as as for the port number, uh, when I was flashing in DOS, I typed in the port number. Uh, to find the port number, you go on Jungle Flasher and on the DOS Flash 32 tab, and it will say the port number next to your drive. So, like, once you see your drive in there, then you have your port number. But, like, you should already, if you flash drives regularly, you you know, you'll know your port number off by heart. And, uh... If if you're new, you know, if if you paid someone else to do it, your firmware, then, uh, you know, take take the plunge and buy, buy the kit to do it yourself because it really isn't hard at all. It's one of those things once you do it the first time is always hard, but after that, you know, it's straight forward and you save yourself a lot of money rather than having to pay someone to do it for you every time. There's an update, which at the moment is like, you know, once every eight, ten months. So, uh, yeah, obviously, if you got the money, then why not? But, uh, you, you know, pay someone to do it, then it's easier. But, you know, I just think it's pretty easy to do yourself. And I, I hope this helps. Anyway, the disc is uh, just finalising now, so 22%. And uh, what else? Uh... I have something else I meant to say, but probably forgotten it. Oh, the disc. I remember someone asked me in my previous video, but I never replied. But the disc I use, I use uh, these little cheap ones called uh, Aeon discs. They're, I don't think they sell them in the States. They're just a UK thing, but, you know, they're £10. I mean, sorry, so you get 10 discs for... Yeah, the burn's just done this. Uh, 10 pounds for... Sorry, uh, 10 discs for, like, 4 pounds. I've never had any problems, so I've always used them. So here's the need for speed. Uh, here's the Xbox of Light Touch Plus firmware. So we take out Black Ops. Place this one in. 
uh, change the channel. So, right, close the tray. And yeah, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit should boot up. Yeah, as you can see it's loaded up so there we have it the new light touch plus firmware the new light touch plus firmware playing an AP25 game there we go uh, any comments you know let me know alright peace